All right, hopefully we've had a chance to think about these, or this discussion question. What kind of fun written message could you share on your folder's cover page? Your folder is just a collection of all your work in the course, for this course. It's your final exam. This is your final exam that you'll turn in on May 4th by the end of the day that day. Let me connect with Bear Star. Hello, let me put you back on speaker. All right, so we're looking for ideas for our cover page. The folder is a collection of all our work in the course. I want you to start it now. How you can start it now is open one document, like a Word document, a Microsoft uh, Word document, a Pages document, or a Google Docs document. And then get in the habit of putting everything in there. For example, your collaboration boards. Take all of your collaboration boards and organize them in your folder. You can do that as pictures. Take pictures and put, and put them in your Word document. Of course, these are examples of pictures that were simply inserted in the document and then organized in that document for the cover page. You can organize your information on your collaboration boards as pictures, likewise, in your folder assignment. Right now we're thinking about this cover page and some ideas for what we could say. And so far here I have quotes. So if you want to use a couple of quotes, you could. Maybe one that you author yourself and maybe, or maybe one that you get from online. Let me open it up. Any other ideas for our cover page? How could we create an interesting written message? Yeah, Bear Star, did you have one? No. <laughs> uh, if you look at the assignment sheet, let me go back to that for this project. <clears throat> if you look towards the end here, here's how your folder is going to be assessed. This is called a rubric. The rubric is a measurement of the quality of your assignment. There's going to be one for every paper. Here's one for your folder assignment. Notice at the top here we have two sections for the cover page. We have cover page message. I want your cover page to share a really important message about writing or about this course. And then second, I want a good design. I want to be impressed when I look at your design. I want to know that you put a lot of time, a lot of thought into it, a lot of innovation to really impress your audience, any audience who looks at your folder assignment. But right now we're on the message. So an example that I've had so far is just a quote. <clears throat> Absolutely. So thank you, Jericho. You can share a specific lesson learned. That can come with an explanation of that lesson. You don't just have to share the lesson title. You can share a specific lesson, maybe in a paragraph form, maybe in a short paragraph. Thank you, Jericho. I think that would work really, really well. You could say on this date, you know, maybe, sorry, in February, we learned this really important lesson in this course. It's one of my favorite lessons that I've had all semester long. That would certainly be a unique message that would set the scene for your folder. Very good. Other ideas for this cover page so that we can get started today. The whole idea behind starting this folder now is to start today. So when you leave class today, already start working on your cover page. Of course, don't spend forever on it, but maybe after today you at least start working on the message. You start organizing some pictures for the cover page or for your collaboration boards. Take your pictures from your collaboration board exercises and organize those in there. How about a poem? You can write a really short poem that maybe says something about writing. I love poetry. Hopefully some of you have had or have written poetry in the in the past. I think a poem would be really really appropriate for the poem for the uh, cover page. Maybe a really short story. Emphasis on really short. You know, your short story can be maybe a couple of lines. But a really short story would work. 
Uh, maybe a fake Facebook post. Okay, we do spend a lot of time as writers on social media, so why not kind of play off of that? So a social media or Facebook post. Other ideas? Word collage. So here's an example of what I mean by a word collage. Word collages can sh share specific messages. So if I Google word collage, there are websites that do this for you. There are also apps that do this for you. These are word collages, and they can all share a very specific message. Here's one that shares a message about a bus, right? Uh, here's one that shares a message about discipline, integrity, honor. So a word collage could also work for your cover page. And that kind of takes the place of design as well. If you just had a word collage, that would cover those two parts of the rubric. We have the cover page design, and then we also have the message. It kind of is the best of both worlds. It meets the design requirement, but it also shares a really important message. All right. That's our discussion question for today. Just kind of pulling together some ideas for what we could do for the written message of our cover page. After today, we're done with this. So you'll have until the end of the semester to work on it. I'll remind you of it, but I'm going to throw you out there and let you work on it. That's the idea behind the folder assignment. And then you'll turn it in on May 4th. So here's a reminder of that part of the assignment. This is your final exam in the course, so if anybody asks, you say, well, of course I have a final exam in Composition 2. It's my folder assignment. I turn that in on May 4th. Another reason why I have a folder as a final exam, it's my last place to catch everything that you've done and kind of make sure that I've, I've measured it and I can give you a final score. All your papers are going to have to be final when you turn them in in your folder, meaning this is also the end of the revisions. When we get to this folder assignment, when you turn in that folder, the revisions are also complete. There is no revision allowed after this date. Four areas of assessment on your, port, on your folder. We have a cover page, we have a title page, a table of contents, and all work in the course. And then that example walks you through every one of these. Here's the cover page. Here's a title page. Uh, here's the table of contents that corresponds to all the pages. And then after that, you have all the relevant material. You can copy and paste your papers. <coughs> Let's collaborate. So our collaboration exercise, which goes on your collaboration board, is for today. I want us to come up with 25 checklist items to make sure that we have a good design. Sometimes design is really, really simple. You want to make sure you've made as many careful considerations as you can so that people have fewer criticisms with your design. So what I want to collaborate on today is really simple. I want us to collaborate on 25 checklist items for design. So when we're designing our cover page, what are 25 boxes that we can check to make sure that our design for our cover page is really, really good? In general, writers have to think visually in terms of format, in terms of tables that they use to supplement their materials, in terms of blogging, in terms of resumes. Good writers have to be good designers as well. And all semester long, you can practice your design, your developing your awareness of design by working on your cover page. So for our collaboration board here, 25 checklist items. And don't wait for me, you can start right now. What are 25 design boxes that you want to make sure your folder's cover page confidently checks? You can Google design principles or you can look in your text or both. There is a section in your textbook on design and I don't know what page yours starts on. It's called Media and Design. There's a section on Media and Design. And there are a couple of principles in here that we can pull from and add to our 25 checklist items for design.
Okay, very simple, very easily labeled. The more boxes you can check, the stronger your design is going to be. So look in that section and see if you can find some that you can volunteer for the board for our collaboration exercise. We want at least 25. Let's see if I can get all 25 up here. One, two, three. Okay, I'm at 19. I'm going to have to go up here. Uh, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 23, 24, 25. I'm just going to call it design checklist. Okay, make it a little bit easier for my labeling. Okay, does anybody want to start me off? What's one that you already know when you're designing something you should be aware of? Maybe something you've heard. Okay, anything that stands out to you when you're looking at this cover page, for example? You want to grab the viewer's attention. Um, uh, an interesting picture or something like that as far as visually make it outstanding. Okay, so it has the stunt factor. Okay, we'll call it the stunt factor, right? It has something in there that's stunning. So, absolutely, we want to have, we want to make sure that our design has this stun factor. It stuns our audience. It grabs our audience. And, you know, I would say the color of the leaves here is something that is kind of stunning. If you look at this picture, not in this resolution, but maybe on your phone, it is actually pretty stunning. So absolutely, you want to have the stun factor. Okay, we're at the 10 mark, so we have about, what, 10 minutes left? We can get there. I know we can do all 25. Yeah, help us out. If you have knowledge to build from, from a previous course, bring that to the new course. Contrast. Contrast. Contrast is really important. You want to make sure that you have just enough to show that it's interesting. Contrast usually ensures interest. So contrast. Others? Balance. Balance. You don't want one side of the page to appear uh, to have less information than the other side. You want both sides to have just enough information. So balance, thank you, Jericho. Emphasis. Emphasis. Where are your eyes going to be directed first? Where are you where do you want to direct the reader's eyes first? I would say here it's probably to that quote. And that's appropriate. You want to set the scene first. Where are you going to direct the reader's gaze first? Um, the three or something. Uh, the rule of three. Try not to have too many colors. Try to limit your color choices to three. Try to limit your shapes to three. Try to limit your focal points to three. The rule of three kind of ensures that things don't get out of control. So limit all of your choices to three, but also push them to three. If you don't have at least three colors, make sure you do. If you don't have at least three shapes, make sure you do. If you don't have at least three ways of varying the font, make sure you do. Okay, that's the rule of three. Continuing here. We have a whole, whole. I know we have a whole list. <laughs> what about from our textbook? How about font? Okay, of course you want to consider your font choices. So fonts, you want to consider your colors. You want to consider your shapes. Okay, all of your shapes were chosen carefully. With design, you want to think about it like this. When I'm going down my checklist, could an audience find fault with this in my design? If the answer is potentially yes, then change something. You don't want your audience to look at your design and think, well, these shapes really don't make sense. Or these shapes really aren't very appealing. Or these shapes really aren't any clear shape at all. You want to make sure that you take away all of these as points of criticism. How about white space? You want to have not enough I'm sorry, you want to have just enough white space. You can't have too much because then it looks boring. You can't have no white space because then your audience will feel overwhelmed. 
So white space. Really, really important to consider white space. Pattern. What's that? Pattern. pattern. Yeah. Try to incorporate some kind of pattern so that your audience will be more impressed. Do we see a pattern here? There's kind of a pattern overall, like here's a shape and then a quote, shape and then a quote. So I think you could say that there is somewhat of a pattern there. Pattern means that something is repeating. So you want to have something repeating. That could also be an important item for our checklist here. Uh, Bear Star, what are some design principles that you're aware of? Uh, the checklist. I'm creating a 25-point checklist for design. What are some items that you're aware of that people should think about when they're designing something? Um, how about if you think about a poster, if somebody's designing a poster or you're designing a poster, what are a couple of things that you're going to have to keep in mind so that it looks good? Uh, difference is good. It's not something boring. So it's there's a reason for that picture. I'm trying to think about what that would look like. It's maybe uncommon. So I think you were onto something with uncommon. You don't want to take pictures of things that are common necessarily. You want to take pictures of things that are uncommon or have a visual that is something uncommon. You know, the fall season is an example. It's not common. Most of the time trees are green and you know the fall season is temporary. We also have this massive leaf, right? So these massive leaves are not common. So I think having something uncommon is probably more interesting. So on your design, certainly you want to maybe have something uncommon. Uh, how about crediting? You want to credit in your design for the people who did the work. So credit, crediting. Uh, in this case, you know, we have a couple of pictures that I know I took. So, <laughs> uh, you know, if anybody asks me, I can say I took these pictures. And then the quote is one that I came up with on my own. But you want to make sure you're crediting where you should be. We have five minutes left here, and I want to give us two minutes at the end for sharing our collaboration board. Simplicity? Simplicity, absolutely. So keep it simple. Okay, simple but stunning. You don't want to overdo something. And in fact, your textbook says keep it simple. There's a note on keep it simple in here. Uh, yeah, keep it simple on page 583. Uh, be consistent. Notice the shape, right? This picture is about the same size as that picture. So that is consistent. Oh, uh, we're going to get there. I know we are. We have about a few left. What's that? Unity. Uh, unity. Yeah, everything comes together to kind of show that it is, it, it belongs together, right? These pictures. I would say there's a sense of unity in the fall season, right? This picture is kind of connected to this picture, therefore it has a sense of unity because they're both of the fall season. You could also say these have a sense of unity as well because they're the same color choice for the font, right? They're almost the same font style as well, so there's a sense of unity. Headings? Headings, yeah, you're using headings appropriately if you are going to use headings. Uh, font size is also one that you should consider. I know we have fonts, but font size is also really, really important. You're choosing the correct font size. Uh, we're almost there. Rhythm. Rhythm. Uh, proximity. Proximity means you're putting things that belong together together. You're putting them in close proximity. Uh, borders. Maybe you choose to have a border. So borders can be one. Uh, gosh, we're so close. Is uh, it one of them? Uh, Maybe we could say style. 
APA is a form of style that you want to use for your papers. Alignment. Uh, alignment, yeah, very good. So alignment. All right, I think that's 25. I didn't quite put them close enough to the boxes. But the idea is when you're designing your cover page, try to, I would say Google design principles and then ask yourself, have I considered this? Could an audience use that as a point of criticism against mine? And then lastly, you have the example here. So look back on this example as you work on your folder throughout the semester so that you have a more impressive folder at the end of the semester. All right, for your collaboration board for today, just take a picture and send it to me, or you can post it yourself on the discussion forum. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday. I'm going to try to be here in the classroom on Monday, and then probably Wednesday I'm going to be in Twin Buttes, just because I'm not sure if they fixed the volume yet. All right, Bear Star, I'll see you for communications, right? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Send me your picture, and I'll see you next time. Hello? Yeah, I have a class next, and then I have another class at 4. <laughs> yeah, I have him on my phone, so he's actually listening through my phone because he has his phone on. Yeah, they need to get the volume fixed here, and I, uh, Fabio said they have a new unit coming on Monday. Thank you. <laughs> no, he's, he's participating. We're talking through the phone. So, thank you. Oh, oh yeah, I'm there. It's just, there you can see my hand. <laughs> All right, thank you. Yeah, bye. still have the video camera.